But I wanted to share this with myself and you and our viewers worldwide on our Hikmat TV, YouTube, and Facebook. This is not the end of the world. So don't give up. This is a wake-up call. It's a lesson for us to live the, a better life according to the Quran and Sunnah. And I wanted to remind myself and you of these signs of the ending of times. Why it's important for us to put our trust in Allah and have iman and faith in Allah. You know, sometimes when I look at some of these Muslim organizations in the world, only politicking, a lot of their programs and conferences is about politicking. I think after the coronavirus, or maybe now, they need to spend some time educating people on iman, on faith in Allah, tawakkal and trust in Allah. Because if we don't have iman and faith and tawakkal and trust in Allah, then we like everybody else. Then what's the difference with being a Muslim? What's the difference of believing in Allah, reading the Quran and following the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him? So a lot of the Muslim organizations even in recent time were very much into only their success was in the hands of politicians. Their life is into the hands of that. Nobody's saying don't work with the politicians and the political system. But let's get some more iman, faith and trust in Allah. Right now politicians can't even help themselves. Right now politicians cannot even help themselves. They need to consult and talk to everybody else for help. How to run the country, what's best to do. And some of all Muslims, their iman, their faith happens to be in these same politicians and their trust happens to be in these same politicians and not in God. And these same politicians are turning to God for help now. So as we conclude, my brothers and sisters, Jesus, peace be upon him. As he comes back, he will get rid of the jal. We still got the Gog and the Magog to come out. And then Jesus, peace be upon him, will live for 40 years. As I said in the, in the beginning, Bethnillah, preach, teach, love, peace, obedience to Allah. Have you ever heard? That a time will come when everyone will be saying La ilaha illallah. That will be the time. The whole world will believe in God. The whole world will believe in God. And everybody will believe in La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa Because Jesus peace be upon him will come back. And he will say I am not God. I will not crucify and he will propagate the teachings of what Islam teaches, which is the teachings of Moses, Abraham, and Jesus. Peace be upon them. And everybody will believe in La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The world will come to peace, love, obedience to Allah. And then Jesus, peace be upon him, will pass away after 40 years. And then the corruption will start. And then the world will reach into a stage from everyone saying obedience to Allah to disobedience to Allah. And when there would be no one on earth who will be saying la ilaha illallah and worshiping Allah, then Mr. Trump will come in. I know you're probably wondering what I mean by Trump. Trumpet. Not Trump, the trumpet. So don't even think bad of Mr. Trump. He's not the end of the world neither. The trumpet will be blown. You know the trumpet and then the trumpet will be blown when there are total disorder and disobedience on earth and when the trumpet is be blow, will, will be blown everything will be shattered to pieces mountains will come tumbling down and we will come to the end of it. the world and that will bring, bring us to qiyamah and that brings me to the end of the, the message also so my brothers and sisters let us reflect going to the Quran, the Sunnah. Don't give up. Don't listen to a lot of fake news as we always say. Obey what the Quran and the Sunnah says. If we would follow that, even if these are the days of coronavirus, we will worship Allah, follow the Sunnah, and we'll have hope in the mercy of Allah. Remember one thing. The mercy of Allah is more powerful than the ghadab of Allah. The mercy of Allah is much more powerful than the anger of Allah. So while these things are happening, the mercy of Allah 
His mercy, His grace, His graciousness is more powerful and supersedes His anger. So Allah will make everything easy for us very soon. But we need to wake up.